Hey, Paul, how are you doing today on this Friday afternoon? Doing great. Drinking my water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Stay hydrated here. Hey, um, we got a lot of questions on social today about Hurricane Danny. Um, okay. Is that a Category 3 now, I heard? Latest information, uh, Danny has been upgraded to a Category 3. Now, you have about five different categories. Ironically enough, we're actually dealing with the uh, anniversary of what happened with Katrina, so people are always kind of sensitive about those categories. But Danny's nowhere near to that strength. But he is actually the first... Uh, storm from this particular year that's actually been upgraded to a hurricane, you know, so it's already gone beyond that 75 mile per hour uh, threshold. Here's how uh, Danny actually started. If you take a look at the uh, graphic here, uh, Danny started off as a category one. Now, as you see the progression of Danny, you can see the highlight here, all those oranges that you see mm -hmm. and the light blues, that's indicating the circulation. And you see how it's rotating counterclockwise? When you're talking about a tropical system, it has counterclockwise rotation above the equator where we're located, and it continues to get stronger with some of the latest information that pulls push through. Now, we're now learning that Danny has now been upgraded to a category three. So it's stronger, but it's not going to stay strong forever, so to speak, you know, not really threatening the U.S. here. Yeah, that's what I actually just yeah. got a question about that. Um, will it be a direct hit to Florida or the Gulf of Mexico? Right now, it's really, you can't really say that necessarily because everything mm -hmm. depends on how Danny will strengthen as he begins to push on through. Right now, he's still reaching, and I think he's about to reach the apex of his strengthening at this particular point. Now, that's fancy talk for strongest now, then get weak later. Okay, gotcha. so, uh, but the area where we are seeing the, the most devastating strike possibly really uh, throughout the island area uh, and really the Leeward Islands and all that because, you know, we do the forecast here almost every single, we actually do the forecast every day throughout the day here at AccuWeather. And so uh, by early Saturday, Danny's going to move right into this area and see this is the hostile area, the Leeward Islands going into uh, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico and, and, and all this area. So this is the path that Danny's expected to travel. And here's what we're expecting. Now, Danny's a three right now, okay? So this is the latest information. So by Saturday, you'll notice we're looking for the forecast models, all right, from mm -hmm. a three to a two, meaning it's strong now. It's going to get weaker by Saturday. Sunday should be downgraded to a category one. Then by Monday, it reaches the Leeward Islands. You get what I'm saying right here? And then as it moves across, now I want you to notice these, you see the, the difference between these two? We have a one, two, and three, and then we have this little circle that's empty. Just so folks understand, when we're talking hurricanes, we put numbers there. It indicates what category it is. So, so we have a category three right now. Mm -hmm. It's the strong, the strongest point is at this point. Then it's downgraded to a category two, meaning that our models are indicating that it's going to get progressively weaker. Then when it goes down to a one. Now, one thing, focus over there just one more time. Now you see this hole, that's indicating that's then going to be dro dropped down to a tropical storm. Now a hurricane is stronger than a tropical storm. Yeah, so when you see this, when there's a little hole here, it's indicating it's dropped to a tropical storm. Now, if you see it really, or like there's an L there, or, or it's not even a complete picture like this, that means it's even downgraded further to a tropical depression. We had a question here, sure. will it reach the Bahamas? Actually, it's, it, it looks right now, it looks like it's going to be curving more so towards the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. passing through the Leeward Islands. It's a little bit early at this particular point, but now, here's what you can look. I'll show you this much. Sure. Okay, you see this dart right here? There's a reason why this is like this. This is actually the cone of probability of sorts, okay? So that means that the models are indicating, we have like four or five models. One of the models is going directly here. One of the models is going right over to this edge. Another model is going all the way down to this bottom edge. Now what we typically call them in meteorology are spaghetti models because they look like strings of spaghetti. Okay, <laughs> anyway, but the spaghetti models, when you accumulate all of them, this is the whole cone of probability. So it could go a little bit further to the north, mm -hmm. could go a little further to the south. But right now we have to wait for it to actually play out, so to speak. But this is the wide berth right here. This is, it can go as far north as here or as far south as here right now, according to the latest models. And that's Tuesday. We're on Friday right now. So once again, we've got to wait to see where in this cone it's going to end up Sunday going to Monday because there'll be a new cone. You get it? So right now, in the early part of it, we're looking at the cone just reaching to this particular point. So beyond here is not really going to be more dependable, but at least right into this section, this is the widest berth that we're expecting for the path of this storm. Yeah, we had a couple questions sure. uh, about Mexico south of the border, border seeing any impact from Danny as well as Puerto Rico, how Only, much rain? Well, Puerto Rico is Puerto definitely going to feel something because Puerto Rico is right. more in the direct path. Mexico, the only thing that happens with Mexico is this. If... This hurricane, well, it'll be a tropical storm, but if it goes into the Gulf of Mexico, it'll have a chance to strengthen. Now, if it goes into the Gulf of Mexico, it has nowhere to go except landfall somewhere. 
All right, so you have a better chance of it possibly hitting Mexico because it's moving more directly towards the west. Once again, but it's all about that predictability and how it may curve to the north, curve to the south. A lot of that has to do with where the jet streams are and if there's a real dominant high-pressure system. Remember, when we talked about high-pressure systems, they're like the big brother who bullies everybody around, so to speak. And so that high could push it further to the north or push it further to the south, whichever the case may be. Everything, just like in life, depends on timing. Timing. Yeah, someone was asking why is it weakening instead of the normal strengthening. Well, you know, it all storms strengthen to a certain point, then mm -hmm. they get weaker. Okay, everything has a cycle, you know. Do you remember seeing the Lion King? Okay. Uh, yeah, I saw okay. that. <laughs> this, a couple times. Okay, this is the circle of life type thing, you know. There's a lion and he's on top and then eventually he gets old and there's another new lion that comes along. Well, the same thing goes with storms. They get stronger at one point and they will naturally weaken. Sometimes it's because of the shear that's happening with the winds. Sometimes it's because it goes across cooler water. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's because it moves across land. Once again, there's different things that can take away from the strength of a storm. But at this particular point, we're just looking at shear that's causing that. And one day we'll go over shear in more detail, but think of shear. Shear as, winds, is that shear correct? Shear winds, right. Yes. As a way of just kind of like sanding something down. Shear just shears it down, like cuts it down a little further, mm -hmm. a little further, like, like cutting shears. Think of it in that manner. That'll help you out. Yeah, to someone said it. here in Puerto Rico we're expecting Danny because we are going through a drought. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and in Puerto Rico, yeah. the tormenta es muy grande también. <laughs> so, buena suerte uh, en el país de Puerto Rico, ¿sí? There so, you go. So, you know, <laughs> For so, those in Puerto Rico. Yeah, so I'm, I'm wishing you the best in Puerto Rico. Batting down the hatches, at least a tropical storm is going to push through your area. So we're looking for widespread flooding, uh, possibly some some isolated thunderstorms popping through as well. So all of that's just, you know, tailor-made for these kind of storms. You got to remember, we really haven't had an active storm season mm -hmm. because El Nino and, and a lot of the sharing that's been happening has really put a cap on a lot of the storms developing. So this is only the first storm of this season that's been upgraded to a hurricane. Getting a lot of love here. Someone's like, oh, I love him too. I love Paul. So getting lots of hearts and love. They said more hearts than hurricanes. I love you back. I love you back. I love you back all day, Best every day. Best weather guy. I agree. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting us know about Danny and, and giving us the update here, Paul. And stay tuned to AccuWeather.com. We'll give you the latest every time it's available for you. Thank you.